Hi, welcome to Paige Family Homestead. I bought my wife some peppers. So now we're roasting peppers. He bought see. me peppers. So She's I the put, luckiest woman in the world. <laughs> I put him to work. <laughs> Somehow I didn't think this through very properly. Okay, here's our peppers right here. Ooh. And we're putting them on. Hey guys, these were green. And I got so far behind in my stuff, I neglected the peppers. They're turning red. But won't they be pretty? In the jars. Oh yeah. We're going to be pressure canning today. Um, I'm not packing these in vinegar. I don't want pickled peppers. And we like Philadelphia... Um, Philadelphia cheese. Cream cheese. No. Nope. Cheese is... No, <laughs> no, there's no cream cheese involved. Okay. Philadelphia steak sandwiches. <laughs> Philly sandwiches. So I don't want vinegar. We're just going to be packing in water. So because of that, low acid, we will be pressure canning. What Andy's doing right now is saving me the heat from the oven. Um, if you don't have a barbecue, you can do this on in the oven at 400 degrees or the broiler if you want and or you can, you can like char this. them like that you know what i've seen people do it with those <laughs> kitchen torches don't oh, laugh I I... yeah so Jeez. we're just charring them we're gonna brown them yeah. and uh oh. give them a flip i don't i just want to yeah, yeah. i don't want to cook them i'm just blistering them okay yeah. so well andy is <laughs> back in a bit overcast rainy kind of day but the babies are out and Andy's thrown them some garden waste looks like cabbage leaves and some cracked corn holy lots of cracked corn he wants to fatten you up eh their regular feed is on the inside and he just threw cracked corn down to get the hens a pecking they like it look how big they're getting <laughs> the turkeys, true to word, they're getting uglier. <laughs> and you should see what your mama did to your cousin's legs the other day. <laughs> and here's the egg hens. Aren't they something? They're getting so big. They all stay either inside on an overcast day or underneath. They love underneath. That's going to be a bone of contention. I know they're going to be laying eggs down there. Oh, yeah. Starting a nice char now, eh? Yep. These are going to be so good. Oh, I know. Oh, good job. Let's keep them going. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Andy got them all done up on the barbecue they're all roasted we put them in the big kettle and put the lid on them until they were cold so that they would sweat and cool so the skins would become off easier okay well, welcome to page family homestead we're, we're making roasted peppers and these are the peppers that andy just brought in from the barbecue and he roasted them up nice and charred until the skins were blistered and they got nice and toasted on the outside, just enough to wrinkle the skin. And so I'm taking off the, the skin, skin and taking the inside of my knife and just lightly rubbing the extra seed and the veins out and putting it in here. Here's one here. I just, I took my, I cut the core out on the end and then I sliced it. And now I'm just going to lay it so I can open it up, cut out that vein, take out the seed. If it offends thee, remove it. Um, these are really nice to open up a jar and have for roasted uh, peppers added into hummus. 
or a Philly steak sandwich. Uh, oh, just I mean, steak sandwich. We've we've steak done these. Ooh, we've yeah. done these with pickled. I had the a, a vinegar brine, uh, vinegar and water brine, and they were awesome. But I don't want pickled flavor in my All roasted the time, yeah. peppers. These are roasted and they're delicious. So I'm gonna leave some of the char on. Um, it will soften. This is a low acid project so we're going to be pressure canning because there's not going to be the sugars and the vinegars and acids to to make it food stable and safe right so some of the areas Andy where it's really hard to pull off yep. leave it on because it tenderizes when it's pressure cooked right okay. I do believe it is a half inch head space I'm gonna double check yes it is a half inch was head it space, yes um, they do swell the <laughs> they swell right like a lot of yeah. foods do so you want to leave room for it to do that uh, I got off track I was on to something no I don't remember oh like uh, they're going to cook they say to do them in half pints or pints they do not recommend that these be packed for pressure canning in quart jars um, probably has to do with the volume of the food in the jar and reaching that critical um, temperature, making sure the food temperature is right through, right? Um, so I'm going to pay attention to that. I used to do them in quart jars for the pickled ones, but we found quart jars to be too big for us anyway. So yeah. you can see I'm leaving some on. It doesn't want to come off easy. I'm not fighting with it. Meant to be. And it will tenderize in the pressure pan. They cook for 35 minutes cook time. Are we supposed to cut it like this too? Let's like see. Like oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that as oh, okay. I pack. Right now I'm just prepping. Um, okay. So I'm just cutting out the core. Don't want the core. And don't even need the big butcher knife, honestly. Just separating it. They have their natural separating lines oh, there. Just follow good. it. But yeah, Philly steak sandwiches, mm -hmm. um, you don't want vinegar taste and flavor. You want the roasted flavor. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's just I'll stunning. be using this in my video when I do a barbecue and I put these on the Philly steak. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Just remember that, guys. When you see me barbecue next time, we'll be putting these on our steaks. Is that next time? Next time. <laughs> when I do a barbecue. Oh, these are going to be good. And <laughs> I didn't know this. I did, but I didn't. I forgot. Totally forgot. Like, he bought me a box of green peppers to do this. And we couldn't find red peppers, so we bought the green. Traditionally, they're red. Uh, <laughs> I got so far behind in myself, I just set the box down there behind the freezer, and I'll get to it when I get to it. Well... We lost about, what, six peppers? Six peppers, yeah. Yeah. It, what a shame. Like, it was unnecessary waste. I feel bad about it. But I said to Andy, "Could you would you mind just running to the market and get me maybe five red peppers so that when we do the jars, we can make them, because I want to gift some of these for Christmas. We can make them more appealing by putting a few red strips in each jar. So he goes, yeah, <laughs> no problem. So he lifts up, and he's bringing me the box. So he lifts it up and he's like, Peg, <laughs> they turned red. I said, what? <laughs> Look at them. They did. They're turning red. So I think we caught them just before it was going to be like, what a waste. Yeah. But they turned red. So we have multicolored green and red stripped peppers. It was meant to be because I like it better. And they're by far, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. I wouldn't have pro I wouldn't be processing food that was bad. No, no they were all good still. But yeah, look at some that chart. Some were somewhat bad, but you can tell. Oh, those are gone. Like they mushed. Yeah. I hate when that happens. I really do hate waste. I know. Look at that. They're just beautiful peppers. This so is next year we'll have so a heck good. of a lot of peppers yeah. to grow. Oh, we're going to have... A heck of a lot of everything to grow next year. The whole point of homesteading is to grow everything. You don't have to buy nothing. It's all free. Yeah, we're really feeling it, guys, that oh, yeah. uh, we didn't have our full gardens this year. I mean, we're really feeling really it. Good. 
so we're gonna finish we got quite a bit the pot's still full we got these to go you don't want to sit here so we'll bring you back welcome back <laughs> <laughs> So we've got the box done. That's what this is. Full. Full of green and red striped flame roasted peppers. And that we love them. We bought them. We pickled them, but we've never done the plain water. Um, I don't know why, but we're doing it now. This is the first time we're doing this recipe, guys. I don't like to do them unless I tell you it's a first time use recipe. Um, these are flame roasted peppers that we bought. You can see there's a few seeds in there. You can see some of the roasting chars in there. Uh, we bought this for three something. It's three ninety nine yeah. on sale. So that's that's a lot of money for a little content, and it's on sale, not the regular price. So last time we buy. Oh well, heck yes. <laughs> so we're gonna take a quarter teaspoon of pickling salt into each jar and they say you can average about two whole peppers per jar that's why I wanted them Let's not see. cut too small so that not I could beautiful. Right there. Look, at, look at the two tones I know. so we're gonna lay Trans them in that one's kind of small may I Hard continue you may continue I'm continuing on you may play Look at my that. turn. <laughs> my turn. You get the red one. Oh, I oh. Cut. this is one you didn't cut. No, I didn't want to cut them because I want to be able to gauge two peppers per jar, right? And you need a, a an inch, what, a half inch head space? Half inch head space. Right. Oh, these are just gorgeous. I'd say that's good. We got the kettle going for the water. I do. Oh, I know what I need. My uh, debubbler. I'll get it. Thank you. Just gorgeous. No, don't get up. I'll get it. <laughs> That's what you said. Is that what you wanted to hear? <laughs> These are so pretty. I'm glad they turned. Zebra peppers. And oh my, to open a jar of these and add that flame broiled flavor into some hummus or like Andy said, Philly steak sandwiches or any sandwich. Just open it up and it's right there. We love these peppers. Oh yeah. Like, like I said, we were always buying them and it's like, I saw them on the shelf and that old rule came back. If you can buy it, you can, you can, can it. So <coughs> a little... With a little inspecting, yes we can. And would you be able to reach me those fancy jars? I have four of them. Where are they? Over here on the end, honey. Yeah. I want them for gifts for Christmas. Because you know we have to use these for Christmas. These are too good. Yeah. I can see, yeah, I'll need four. Yeah. Thanks. I can see doing these, again, getting more. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you. Okay, the kettle's here. They're just too easy, Oops. right? Yeah. Okay, so we got a couple of them packed, so let's show you the rest so of the process. So is that like half inch there? Wait. Uh, you could maybe put one more little thin slice in. And I need the kettle, love. I can't reach that far. Yep. Um, I think it was Deb's way asking. I'm not sure. Somebody asked in the comments where yeah. I got this funnel. I got this from Canadian Tire. It's a uh, copycat funnel that you can buy from Amazon. It's really kind of unique in that, see the ridge on the inside? This is the part that sits on inside the jar, and this overflows the outside. It does help keep your jars clean when filling. Like, you can see it just, that red part fits into the jar, and the rest is on the outside. So, I like it. But they wanted too much for it at, uh, Amazon at the time. I told you I'm cheap. So I need this. What am I doing? So we bought it at Canadian Tire and it, it's fine. This one doesn't have the measurements on it where the one from Amazon I do believe have the measurements for it. You are required to debubble. I can see the bubbles coming up already. Oh this is going to be so good honey. I know. Man, oh man. I'll try it tonight. 
I, I bet you will. I will. We were sitting here packing these things or peeling them and getting them ready and he's like, babe. <laughs> oh, can you hand me the lids, babe? Um, yep. I'm going to open up a jar tonight, you know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Duh, I knew. That's good, thank you. Good. So I need a wide mouth lid. And I got uh, another one that I don't need. And a wide mouth ring. I did my half inch top. I, I'm sorry not showing you. I just, I know by looking, I've done it so much. Finger tight. These will be pressure canned. I have 10 pound pressure for my elevation. I'm gonna try and hover it at 11 pounds. And I'm going to be doing that for 35 minutes. If this was a pint, it would still be 35 minutes. But look at that. That looks nice. It does. It's when so it gets pretty. cooking on the inside, too. Nice. It's so pretty. Pass the salt, please. I want to shake these up a bit, too, because there is salt on the bottom, yeah. right? Yep, there is. Salt. salt. And where's the measuring spoon? Spam? Oh, they just got up and had legs. Okay, which one? That one right there, again? quarter. 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 So I thought I knew that. We'll do one. Let Andy, do one. Want to finish one here? What do you mean? Well, let's put the water in. Yeah. You can debubble it. Oh. And get your ring on. And your lid. i got to get my ring on. <laughs> Ready? And then we can let them go so the video is not like okay. 10 years old. It's a wide mouth? Yes. I don't find it now. Get off. Like fishing. These are so good and they're so fun to do. They really are. <laughs> oh, I just overflowed. Boiling water everywhere. Look how fun that is. Fun? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I must have missed all the excitement. <laughs> it's over here on this side of the table, dear. <laughs> and I didn't wipe my rim. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go get lids. some stuff. We need a table. I gotta get him some lids and rings, and I got a mess to clean. Now, because it's pressure canned, we do not need to sterilize our jars. We do not need to sterilize our lids or our rings. I washed and dry, air dried. Yeah. All of Spoon. the, thank you, all of the uh, jars, and let's put this in here, and the lids of course are new. What are new? Wipe your rim, eh? Oh, yeah. We both did one without wiping. I did gonna get, yeah, Oh, did. yes, I did. Let's see. Yes. I know. I watch. Look at that. That's just beautiful. You made this jar. I did. You did. That's a nice looking. It is. It's the nicest. Is this the vinegar? Yeah. It's the nicest jar in the whole the world. No, in the whole recipe. There you go. I'm not giving you the world. Litter. Oh, I've already wiped it. That'd be good. We can do it that way, assembly. All right. Assembly line workers. Whoa. I what? I like doing it up at the counter and not at the table. I hate doing it at the table. I can't wait until I can stand there for a little less talk, a little bit more productivity. <laughs> Don't you agree, folks? <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, how old are you right now? Uh, I'm not Six, telling you. Sixty-two. Okay. No, sixty-two. Sixty-three. Oh, yeah. You want to make it to sixty-four? I knew you were going to say that. There you go. Where'd my thing go? What's the thing? Let's see. You said like in a production line. Yeah. Then you take my stuff away from me. Well, yeah, just like in a production line. No. That is not allowed. This one didn't get quite finished. What's it doing over there? I moved it there. <laughs> I like oh, to keep hurry? things <laughs> I like to keep things interesting. Okay, so we're gonna finish the rest of these. <laughs> they Eventually. Are, they are very pretty. 
They yeah. really are. And we'll bring you back for the next step. How hard is this? Grab your husband. Make him help you. It's good for them to learn. So we're done. Um, I said a case. It wasn't a case. It wasn't a bushel. It was a half bushel of peppers. I don't think that was a case. Yeah. So we did pretty good for a half bushel. Yep. We got 16 half pints. I'm obviously going to be double stacking. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Those are Christmas jars. Just love You don't them. eat them at Christmas time? No, they're for gifting. Oh. For giving these ones. Oh, wait a minute, Andy. Look, can put that one down. Look what you get. See, life's worth living. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna line up. This is the American Standard. I got my arrow and my notch. I've already greased. I've already added my quarter cup vinegar. Wasn't quite quarter cup. Locked in position, opposite sides. Tighten, but not cranked. And my honey spot, I already know from yesterday's video or the day before is number eight. So it's going to bring it up to pressure slowly, which is what I want, so I don't get purging and buckling of lids. And There we go. So I'm just going to leave that there. I've got it double stacked. I have a trivet on the bottom and a trivet in the middle, dividing the two. And I'm going to wait for this to give me a Steady stream of steam. We did the lecture on that two videos ago. So right two videos ago. Yeah. I'll do a I card up here. Wait, wait, watching TV up here. <laughs> on that video, it's important to watch. If you're not used to pressure canning, it explains the importance of doing our 10 minutes of steady stream of steam, which is AKA venting. Okay, this is a 35 minute session. Andy, stop wiggling. <laughs> One day, that camera's gonna come out, bud. <laughs> I'm leaving this in. Okay. <laughs> Blush. Okay, I'm gonna leave you here. I'll bring you back when we have the 10 minutes of steam. Just coming back real quick, show you. Here we got it. Our steam, our steady stream of steam. Say that three times, real fast. Steady step of steam. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't so, say it once, don't mind that. <laughs> I'm gonna put the timer on for 10 minutes. 10 mini apples. Walk away. Walk away. That's dedication. Going to check on his little babies. That's awesome. It's so pouring out. Oh, are you scared because it's raining and your daddy went out? Oh no. <laughs> 27 seconds, 25, 24. I got my 10 pound weight in my hand. As soon as that timer goes off and like I said before, I'll wait right to the last second. That's getting it's 10 minutes of purge venting right there. Eight, seven, six. And once I put this on, I'm waiting for the pressure to build to 10 pound pressure. I'll get my little ch -ch -ch on my weight, a little jiggle, and I will start my timer for 35 minutes. And there we go. Now we wait. 10 pound pressure. We got our time now set at 35 minutes. And yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So we'll be back in 35 minutes. <laughs> this is what we do when we're canning, waiting for the timer, play some music. Why not? Told you canning was fun. Okay, so the timer just went off. So, I'm going to turn off my heat. That's it. I'm going to leave it now until my... I don't like the lighting. There we go. Until that comes down. See, I ran it at 11 pounds pressure. And when it comes to zero, I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes and we'll be back. We'll leave that alone. Okay, so it's already come down to zero. 
and I had already set my timer for 15 minutes. So the timer just went off. So we're here to take off our weight. Just a little bit. And we're going to unlock and open just a jar. I'm not going to take the lid off at all. Don't do that! <laughs> How old am I? 61 or 62? 60. No, I'm 61. Well, I could have died. <laughs> Scaring me like that. <laughs> oh. Does that stay? There. Ta-da! I'm going to leave it like that for about 10 minutes and we'll be back. Christian soldier. Can you, can you smell? I can smell it really good. <gasps> it smells nice. It does. Mmm. You really forgot nice. to turn it away from your face. <laughs> <laughs> I did, didn't I? Yep. Look at oh, that. Oh, nice. Nice. They are going to be so good. I know. Oh. I like that we did them in the half pints. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because the pickled ones we always do in the pints. And to me, like, oh, I've got to show them that. Hang what? on. Um, you do finger tight, but when you take them out, quite often they'll have come loose in the process. So you just finger tight them again. And then to let them seal. Just leave them alone. Set them out approximately an inch to two inches away from each other. Let the air flow in there. Usually the wide mouth jars always come loose. Yeah, a little bit. I just take them all out and then I check them in a minute. Oh, they're just gorgeous. It smells so good. Isn't it going to be nice to mm, have these here already. and not have to wait until they go on sale mm. in the store to be able to yeah, no kidding, justify no. buying them? Yep. I'm not buying them ever again. Ever. 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 In my whole life. Never again. Ever. And I'm going to be alive till I'm like... 90? No. Uh, why Longer? would you kill me off so young? Oh. <laughs> no, darling. I'm going to be around until like 110 faculties, too. Change your name to Prunilla. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still chase people around. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, yeah, nice. Oh, Merry bubble, bubble, bubble. Jar. Bubble and brew. Oh. Let's They're see if I can get in there. Man. Look at it go. Popping. Wow. I got a good one of that. Those are Merry Christmas jars. Yep. Merry Christmas jars. Oh, it's coming too soon. I know. Fall's coming. I've noticed the fall colors on the tr some of the trees I know. really changing around. And this, well, the temperature, you can tell by the temperature that's coming. I did have some uh, sieving here, sifting. Did you? Purging, yeah. Hmm. I could just see a little bit of the discoloration here in the water. Okay. So one of the jars, I'll have to really keep an eye on. Check for it. Isn't sealed. Is that yeah. what that means? It might not. It could possibly. It doesn't always, but I have to watch. I just have to yeah. see. Sometimes they'll seal just like that from being out here. Well, they they can. People will be like, "It's been twelve hours. That my jar hasn't sealed." Well, leave it for twelve to twenty-four. They still can seal. Mm -hmm. There we go. Look at that. Is that every one of them? That's all. That is them. awesome, man. That's yeah. all of them. That's half a bushel. Well, maybe it's just boiling that in there. That one too. <laughs> Look at the boiling mad. <laughs> there you have it. We have fire roasted canned peppers. Um, can you do the, Does this just have to be done with Bell? No. Do you have hot peppers? <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> oh, now Andy's going to go to the farmer's market and buy some hot peppers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a peanut on a stick. <laughs> uh, so this is a hashtag Let's Can. It's a collaboration open to all content creators, and it's hosted by Morris Patch of Heaven. Wonderful people. Check their channel out. Also, I'm going to put a direct link in to their playlist. Please do check that out. There's a lot of good canning recipes in there from some amazing channels. Um, give us a thumbs up comment below if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and andy will tell you to ring the bell ding 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 bye 
So, a quick example of lack of patience. Andy can't wait. <laughs> so, we got a jar here of our fire roasted peppers, canned peppers. I put a small piece of pepper in there, I diced it up, I threw in a little bit of basil and a little bit of garlic sliced up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're gonna love it. Da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna love it. La 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 la. A baguette. A baguette. Have a cutting board? Yep. Thank you. And your big knife. There we go. Wow, you ever cut up the garlic? I did. One does not know how much. How many garlic do you think you're gonna? Oh, well, not the that one's got that one. How many do you think you want for a snack? Two. Two. And I'm gonna one try one. Here we go. All right, eh? <laughs> Okay. Look at that in that bowl, man. Oh, yeah. I know. You know what? It needs a little bit more olive oil. Now, they do pack them in olive oil. Um, you can do that, but olive oil, any oil, is going to go rancid. It doesn't stay for long-term storage. So this is a nice way, if you feel like having that nice flavor, make it up a couple hours earlier than what you would be eating it, and let the flavors marinate, right? Let them all... Oh, it's going to be good. <clears throat> so, who tries it first? I will. <laughs> Tell All me right. what you think. You want the camera? Yeah. I already cheated and took a piece of the pepper and tasted it. And you, oh, it's so good. Mm, good. Isn't it? Really good. Mm. With some fresh basil. Well, it wasn't fresh. Mm. With basil, uh, tomato. Oh, well, God, with fresh basil, though. That's good. That's the, really good. The pepper. I said tomato. I meant pepper. And the hunks of garlic and mm. the olive oil. and Really sweet. Mm, very good. Isn't it? You can mm -hmm. taste the fire roast on it, too. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's going to mm -hmm. be excellent. Okay, everybody. This is a hit. <laughs> you got to try it. It's good. <laughs> Are we going to give any away for Christmas? <laughs> Are we getting more peppers? We're going to have to get more peppers. Yeah. <laughs>